Can I ask you, since you're here with us this morning, what do you think about the latest resignation from the Tory party, at least the resignation from the whip's office of Chris Pincher? This is a Conservative government completely mired by sleaze and it just isn't good enough. You know, we had two by-elections last week, one because a Conservative MP was convicted of child sex uh, abuse and uh, another because a Conservative MP was caught watching pornography in the House of Commons chamber. Standards in public life have got to be higher than this. And Boris Johnson has got to get a grip of it. It feels like he is just moving from one crisis to the next. And all the while, it means that he can't deal with the very real problems facing the country, like the cost of living crisis that people are really, really concerned about. Do you as, as MPs, you and, and your colleagues on the Labour benches, do you hold yourselves to a, a higher standard, a higher moral standard than the rest of the country needs to? Well, I, I think when you look at the Conservative Party, it, it looks just like one thing after a, a, another. You know, every week there seems to be uh, a, another MP caught up in a scandal. Scandal. The, the, M, the, M, the Conservative MP for Somerset and Froome is currently um, suspended following uh, sex and drug allegations. It, it, it's really, really important that MPs do uphold the higher standards in public but, life. And we're just not seeing that at the moment from the Conservative Party. Yeah, Ellie, Ellie Roos, you didn't really answer the question, though, because it's, it's, all, it's all well and good throwing allegations and, 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 uh, of sleaze at a, at a party where there have been a number of issues. But what about... It, it means you've got to hold yourself to a higher standard, don't you? Well, we do hold ourselves to a high standard and there's a new independent uh, complaints uh, process in Parliament. And I think that's really uh, important. But it, it, there is scandal after scandal at the moment and that's not coming from our side. Well, no, but the government is probably under greater scrutiny than maybe uh, the case for uh, the shadow um, government, as it were. But, I mean, quite apart from that, I mean, what, do, what is the reason for it then? I mean, you say well, it's, sure. it's happening within the Tory party, but, but why would it be happening there? Well, I'm not sure that um, the government would be, uh, would be under any less scrutiny than the Labour Party. There is this independent complaints process that covers uh, all uh, MPs and all MPs, uh, I think, are held to uh, a, a high standard. But this isn't just about high standards. You know, the, the, the story today is a government minister um, who has resigned because of his behaviour. And uh, this is, falls far below the standards that you would expect of a politician from any political party.